Hello everyone. Uh, today's video is going to be about installing uh, Windows 11 on unsupported uh, PCs. And the first thing we're going to do is we're going to go to our browser. Type in uh, Windows 11 download. Okay, click on that. Make sure you're at Microsoft.com, www, and uh, click Windows 11. Scroll down till you see this heading here, Download uh, Windows 11 Disk Image ISO. Okay, select your download. Okay, click on Windows 11, click Download. Then uh, click Choose One. Okay, click English or any language that uh, you may prefer. Confirm your download. This will take um, this will take about 20 minutes to download uh, to your downloads file on your PC. Uh, click 64-bit, and it'll start downloading. Okay, here it is. 20 minutes to go. I already have it, so I'm going to cancel out. But you keep it going. Okay. Now what we have is our file here. We're going to double-click on the file. Okay. And what we want to do is we want to highlight and then left click. And you're going to see mount. I already mounted this one. You're going to see mount. Click mount. Okay. Now left click on your desktop. Folder, click on folder. Okay, name that folder Windows 11 number 2. Okay, we can click out on this here. Actually, what we're going to do is we're going to click on PC this PC, click on this PC, okay, and that file is mounted here as uh, drive F on mine. I'm going to left click and I'm going to eject that, okay, I've ejected that and you should do the same also, okay, we're going to double click on this uh, Double click on the first file. Okay. Highlight all all the files there. Highlight. Left click. Copy. Click copy. And then uh, hover your mouse over your cursor over here. Left click and paste. Okay, all these files are going to end up in this new folder here. That's what we want. We'll take a couple of minutes. Okay, let's click this PC. Okay, let's eject out of this again. 
Okay, we're good there. Click out. We're going to double click on our new file. Make sure it's file number two. And we're going to click sources. Double click. We're going to look for the appraisers. Okay, appraisers right here. Not appraiser, appraisers. We're going to click on that. Okay. Double click until you get a little uh, box like that. And we're going to do uh, Okay, you can make sure you get your little cursor there. Dot old. Okay, just like I have it. O L D dot old. Okay. And we're going to click off. Now we're going to double click on this file again. Okay. And what you want to do is you want to double click on setup. And that will start, that will start uh, your install. At this point, uh, your um, your computer should be plugged plugged in, and uh, your Ethernet and your Wi-Fi should be disconnected. Okay, you can choose uh, your uh, languages here. Follow all the steps carefully until uh, the install. This will take you right through the install. Now, once you reach um, once you reach about thirty percent, you know it's going to say installing Windows eleven, okay, like ten percent, twenty percent. Plug in your your Ethernet cable. Okay, now pick what you want, Home or Pro. Okay, keep your files or a clean install here. You can bypass the, the product key also by clicking next or skip. We passed that. Now they're all gonna be different. It depends on how what you what you chose. I'm I'm choosing different things. Okay, country, region, pick your country and region. Okay, name your PC here. You, most people choose owner to, to uh, name the PC. They, they, choose, they call it owner. If it won't let you skip something, unplug your Ethernet and then plug it back in. Okay, now you can skip this by unplugging your Ethernet and uh, just go on to the next, uh, the next thing. Okay, enter your name, owner, owner, or whatever you'd like to name it. Okay, you've bypassed um, the login to Microsoft. You bypassed that. So now just name uh, name your PC. Just give it a name.
Okay, press accept to uh, go on to the next uh, frame. Let's customize your experience. You can skip or you can do whatever you like. You can click next here. Click no thanks. You can click no thanks on this one too. Getting things ready. We're almost there. Welcome to uh, Windows 11. Uh, the first thing uh, you want to do is install your updates by clicking the start button here and then click settings. And over here where it says Windows updates, click that. And then click check for updates and install all your updates because that's really important at this time. Okay. If you, um, you want to customize your, uh, your taskbar, it's right click and then click taskbar settings. That'll bring up this page here and you could turn on whatever you like or uh, for example, if you don't like widgets, you can turn widgets off down here. You can turn off the chat so you can minimize things. You can also move your um, your taskbar uh, icons over to the left corner like you had in Windows 10 if you'd like. And just read these things carefully and you can customize anything that you want. Now also, uh, let's see if I can get there like this. Okay, apps. That's where you get all your apps. You would uh, click installed apps and aliases. And all your apps are here. Right down the list. Let me go back. Let's go back to that. You can do all your um, your favorites over here. You can click more and then pin them. You could look down in the list. And you can pin them pin them here. If you want it on the desktop, you can drag it onto the desktop. You can do things that way. And uh, just do your best to customize it. It's going to be a little different uh, looking for um, your settings and things like that. But, uh, you know, it's not that hard. Anyways, thank you for watching. Uh, we'll see you in the next one.